Judge. Time to rock. Welcome back to the Adelbridge YouTube channel. Today, the boys have gone out into the shop to bring you the best bang for your buck guns from different categories. The thought process here was is that if you are designing an arsenal for yourself, something that you might need one of each of. So we got a do everything pistol. We got an AR style pistol. It's actually more of a PCC, but this will fit in the backpack. You can equip optics and a brace too. We got a quality AR. A uh, good shotgun for home defense, and then we also got a hunting rifle. So, uh, you want to start small to large, and we'll yeah. go from there. Yeah, sounds good. All right. So, the first one that we got is the Canic Mete, and essentially what this is is this is Canic's upgraded TP9 SF. Uh, so Canic actually has a sponsored competition shooter, and they took the TP9 SF to him, and they said, "Hey." If you were gonna run this gun in your competitions, what would you want done to it? So basically what he did is he went through, changed some of the designs, uh, you know, the suppressor height sights, uh, you know, we've got the MOS cut in here, the trigger is upgraded as well, but basically he kind of had all of this final say on what he would wanna do with this gun. Um, really, really great pistol, 18 round capacity, and I mean, these things come crazy equipped out of the box, man. It's oh yeah. Well, if I didn't already own multiple pistols and I was looking for my first, this would definitely be the one uh, I would get. I mean, as far as value goes, there's hardly anything that comes close to it. I like the rail at the front. You can put on any laser light that you'd want. Pretty safe gun's got internal safeties as well as the trigger safety here in the front. It takes down just like a Glock. It is Turkish made and most of the time when, it, when we get in Turkish guns, I don't really think too much of them. But honestly, Canik is probably the best Turkish manufacturer that I know of or have come across best around what these things come with out of the box no other manufacturer is giving these things the equipment yeah. that canic is this comes with the holster it comes with the magazine holster mm -hmm. it comes with the plates you know it comes with the spare magazine i think but it even comes with a keychain it does yeah these are really <laughs> really really well equipped man so uh, when you're when you're talking about budget and value when you think about buying a, a pistol there's a bunch of other stuff you got to buy with it and mm -hmm. canic said no nah, we're just going to knock it all out in one go fell swoop yeah. so Great gun. What's the next one, man? All right, next we got the Ruger PC Charger. Um, it is a takedown. I'm pretty sure we did not include this on our backpack no, build video, uh, but this would be also a good backpack build if you wanted one. They uh, make plenty of braces that attach to the back on this rail here, so you can have it fold over. However, it is also a takedown model, so it's very easy to just break this guy down if you're looking to store it. Six inch barrel, great fun little guns. This one's in nine millimeter. If you have Glock mags or own a Glock, you can also change out your uh, little mag safety here so that it will accept Glock magazines. Uh, as it's configured right now, it takes Ruger magazines, but every charger that we have comes with the compatibility to do both Ruger and Glock magazines. Uh, you have a non-reciprocating bolt handle. Uh, this mag release is also reversible, so if you're left-handed, you can configure it to a left-handed style. Uh, it also has a threaded barrel as well, so if you have a suppressor in 9mm or plan to get one, this would be a, a pretty cool gun to put it on. Pretty versatile uh, firearm we got here. Yeah. And uh, I mean, another thing that we kind of used for the criteria on this for value builds, right, was a part, big part of that was reliability. Mm -hmm. So, Colin. How often do you see these come back for repairs? Yeah, hard, never. Yeah. Never. I've so, never worked on one. Yeah. So that's, I, I mean, that speaks very, very highly of the product in and of itself. A lot of times if Colin sees a lot of the same firearm, pretty indicative of the quality, yeah. but this thing is just fantastic. And yeah. You can do a I will say I've never worked on one to repair it, but <clears throat> there are plenty of aftermarket parts I have worked on these with. So I'll install aftermarket triggers, optics, whatever you want. I've put tons of things on these binary PC triggers. Charger, binary yep. triggers. Uh, they, they can come. Any way that you like it, uh, just going out there and getting the parts to, to get it all Gucci'd up for you. Gucci'd up for you. Gucci'd up. Next one is going to be, this is the Mossberg 590. Ben, what do you think of this one? I like that one. I do too, Ben. Yep. Standard pump action shotgun, but all that Mossberg reliability, man. Um, Mossberg has really made a solid name for itself in shotguns as well as home defense shotguns. You can see the one that we selected has got a little bit of a shorter barrel, so it's going to be a little bit easier to maneuver around tighter spaces. Uh, the thing I really do like about this as well is the top safety. So basically, all you need to do is slide that back and forth to turn the safety on and off. 
Um, but the fact that it's a pump action as well, it's not gonna have hardly any cycling issues, if any. I love these guns, and if Ben likes it, I like it. Yeah, so when it comes to shotguns, you can get them high grade, low grade. This is, I would just say, right in the middle of the park. 500s, 590s, uh, Remington 870s, they're all just about as reliable as can be. To, to be honest, what you see is what you get. There's not too many bells and whistles on this guy to comment about, but um, it does have drilled and tapped uh, receiver here on the top. So if you have a rail that you'd like to slap on there, you can order a rail, uh, get yourself an optic. Or if you want to put some slug shot in there and, you know, take a deer hunting if you're from, you know, one of those states that, you know, doesn't allow for bird shot. And it's going to it's gonna do shotgun things, which is <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Right? Exactly. All right, man. You pick the next one. All right. Next we got the Springfield Saint. So this guy here, honestly, I kind of feel like, again, if I didn't have an AR, this one would definitely be on my radar. Um, it has a melanite coated barrel uh, inside, so it's actually thinner and more durable than any chrome lined barrel. So it helps uh, kind of extend the lifetime. Of um, it also has a 7075 T6 aluminum forged receiver. So I don't know if you all have seen those um, polymer lowers um, or even like the ATI polymer lowers. They're, they're fairly cheap. Uh, but this gun right here is a little bit more expensive. It's not too crazy, but it is durable as can be. Uh, the receiver is not going to give out on you like it may over time with a polymer uh, receiver. It's got Bravo Company uh, furniture, M-Lock here in the front, uh, Bravo Company grip, pistol grip, Bravo Company buttstock. It's got a mid-link gas system. Just really hard to complain about too much, especially at the price point that it's at. Yeah, and, and I mean, these Springfields are fantastic design. Those iron sights are super easy for anybody to pick up. And, you know, when you get down to the, you know, the brass tacks of the situation, right, I would always prefer a holographic sight, but mm -hmm. this is about as good as you get for iron sights. Yeah. So, again, something you can take out of the box, go to the range with, and have some good fun with. Definitely. Um, Springfield's consistently making good quality. One more thing to mention on this guy is uh, if you already own an AR, you can sometimes notice over time that the upper and the lower receiver will kind of have some give to it. This actually comes with a tension screw that you can adjust so that you'll never have that play between the lower and upper receiver. I know myself, it drives me absolutely crazy whenever I shoulder a rifle and I can mess with the grip and kind of feel it wiggle side to side. That will never happen with the Springfield Saint. Pretty glowing recommendation. Well, man, yeah. you you uh, knocked that one out of the park. Why don't you tell me a little <laughs> bit about this here, Ruger, buddy? All righty. So next up for budget bolt action rifle, we have the Ruger American. Um, honestly, I've debated getting one of these for myself. It is a cold uh, hammer forged barrel, so it has a very long life expectancy. Great Accu trigger. Uh, these Ruger American triggers are <laughs> absolutely awesome. For the trigger and the barrel alone, and plus it being threaded already, um, it's a great rifle for the price. There's really, it's kind of really hard to beat it, kind of like the Canik or Saint. Um, just an all in all, absolutely great rifle for the price. And you know, something that I like about these as well is the fact that they make it so easy to put your glass on here yeah. with this Picatinny on top. Um, you know, a lot of times people come in, they've got their hunting rifles, and when it comes to glass, man, it can really get complicated and expensive quickly. Mm -hmm. So just by having this on the top to begin with, you are eliminating so much hassle in finding the right rings, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, exactly. it's just a much easier way to go about it. So yeah. everything that we got here, guys, really the designation behind this again was to get you out on the range, to get you experiencing some of the options that we have, and really, I mean, a lot of these weapons are where we all started our love affair with firearms, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I, I love everything that we picked here. I wouldn't be sad to see any of these in my personal arsenal. Um, yeah, I mean, any closing thoughts there, Colin? No, uh, I think all in all, we have a pretty good set of guns that won't break the bank, uh, but will definitely put holes in a target uh, consistently and how you like it. Anybody would be happy with any of these, uh, especially at the price point. So Absolutely. Well, guys, thank you guys so much, as always, for checking out our YouTube video. Again, you can always find us here, 7080 San Pedro Avenue. Make sure you're following us on our Instagram, Attlebridge underscore firearms. We've got a bunch of deals and giveaways going on right now, so be sure to check that out as well. But thank you again for subscribing. Comment down below what you want to see on the video next, whether it's range videos, more reviews, more breakdowns, uh, gunsmithing tips, you name it. If you guys keep giving us the feedback, we'll keep giving you the content that you want to see. Bye, baby. <laughs>